This video is about mole ratios. What a mole ratio is, is it's a conversion factor that you have to make from a balanced chemical equation. The way you know that you need a mole ratio is it's the bridge in mole land. So if you're working a problem and you're looking at the map of mole land and you realize you need to cross the bridge, that's a mole ratio that you're going to have to make. You're going to use these in stoichiometry problems that make you convert from one chemical to another one. The way you make a mole ratio is you have to start from a balanced chemical equation. We know it's balanced because we already see coefficients out front. I picked this reaction because I kind of wanted you guys to know a little bit about this. This is the reaction that happens when you react bleach, like regular bleach from your house, like Clorox. The official uh, salt in it is sodium hypochlorite and it's aqueous. So when you have bleach, it's actually dissolved in water. Then this is ammonia, and it's also aqueous, so it's going to be dissolved in water. So you've got these two cleaners, bleach and ammonia. They tell you not to mix them because what happens is they will react. They're going to form this aqueous salt that I have no idea what its name is, but more importantly, it's going to form this chlorine gas and that is poisonous and that's why you're not supposed to mix bleach and ammonia. But in this reaction it shows that we need two moles of bleach and two moles of ammonia to mix together to make one mole of chlorine gas. So we can make mole ratios from this just like we would do for some sort of recipe like if you make rice it always takes one cup of rice to two cups of water. It's a one to two ratio. Well this is going to be a two to one ratio. The way we're going to make those mole ratios is kind of pulling the information from the equation of just the chemicals they're asking you for and interpreting these coefficients to mean moles. In class we talked about how there's a micro scale and a macro scale interpretation. If you did the micro scale we'd say well this would be two formula units of sodium hypochlorite and two molecules of ammonia. But in the macro scale interpretation we assume that that 2 stands for moles. So if I had a problem that asked me about the if I mixed bleach and ammonia, all of the mole ratios I could make would be I just pull the 2 moles of bleach out of the equation and I could say for every 2 moles of bleach I need 2 moles of ammonia. So the first re uh, ratio is 2 moles of sodium hypochlorite to 2 moles of NH3. And then the reciprocal is also a possibility. So I could say or 2 moles of NH3 over 2 moles of NaClO. Now that one used both reactants. Sometimes you might have a problem that asks you, well if you have this many moles of reactant, how many moles of product are you going to get? So in that case you just pull those two things. If they asked for the bleach, here's the moles of bleach, and then maybe it wanted to know how much chlorine gas would be produced. So you just pull the two things you want and make a ratio of those. In this case it would be a ratio two moles of sodium hypochlorite to one mole of chlorine gas or the reciprocal where we would just put this on top instead one mole of Cl2 over two moles of NaClO. It's very seldom that you're going to see a problem that wants you to make every possible mole ratio from a balanced equation. If you do see one, all that means is you have to keep track of the two things you've compared. So far I've compared these two things to each other and these two things to each other. I have not compared this to this yet, so I could do that. I would make the two ratios of these two things, this and the reciprocal. Okay, I also haven't compared these two to each other. So I could put this one over this one and the reciprocal. But it's very seldom that you need to do that. Usually you just look at the problem and you see exactly what you need to make. So I'm going to put all these back and we're going to work a problem out. So here's a problem. This is a stoichiometry problem we can tell because it says how many moles of chlorine gas are produced if you fully react 10 moles of bleach. So I'm going from moles 
two moles, what's different is I'm switching chemicals in the process. The setup for this problem is going to be x moles of chlorine gas if I have 10 moles of sodium hypochlorite. <coughs> In this case, I don't care about anything else in this reaction except for chlorine gas and sodium hypochlorite. Everything else can just stay up there in the reaction because this problem only asked me to use those two things. And I need to make a mole ratio conversion factor that lets me get rid of not just moles, but moles of sodium hypochlorite and lets me leave with moles of chlorine gas. So I know that this one has to go in the denominator and this one has to go in the numerator because that will let me cross this out and this out and be left with that. So what I would do is I would do 10 times 1 divided by 2 and I end up with 5 moles of chlorine gas. And that should make sense to us because in the beginning we realized it was a 1 to 2 ratio. For every 2 moles of bleach we react, we get 1 mole of chlorine gas. Well, if I react 10 moles of bleach, I should get half that as chlorine gas.